you probably know the story of Hanukkah. The story of how the Jews were oppressed by the Syrian Greeks, kept from practicing their religion, and how eventually they rose up, how Judah Maccabee and his sons fomented a rebellion and took a guerrilla army to the hills from where, against all odds, they managed to win, to strike and strike and retreat and strike again until they came out victorious. That's actually story one of the Hanukkah story. The other piece that you also probably know is a story that came later. That's the story of the miraculous oil. The story that when they returned to the ruined temple, they found just enough of the refined and blessed oil to keep the sacred light burning for one night. And yet that light, that oil, continued to burn and burn and burn long enough for more oil to be refined and prepared and blessed so that that sacred spark never went out. That second story, the story of the Hanukkah miracle, came along somewhat after the original story, because you see the original story, the story of the military victory against all odds, inspired future rebellions, future Jews who, in the face of oppressors, decided to strike back. And those rebellions were brutally, brutally put down and led to far worse conditions than had occurred under the original oppressive conditions. And so the story of the Hanukkah miracle, the light that lasts. It doesn't really matter whether that was in fact something that happened, whether those long ago Jews actually found actual oil that burnt for an impossibly long time, because I think we all know that story is true. I think we've all been part of that story. I think that all of us have at some point in our life, maybe right now, stood in the midst of the ruined, desecrated, filthy temple, sacred objects defiled in what could be despair, and looked around and picked up a broom. Looked around to find what the next thing to do was. Looked around to see what it was that we could do to push things toward being whole, even when it didn't seem like they could ever be whole again. Now maybe that's happened for you at the end of a marriage that you thought was going to be for a lifetime. And maybe it's happened when someone who you counted on to be there for you died. Maybe it's happened with the serious illness of a child or a chronic illness that leaves you fatigued and aching. Maybe it's happened with a colicky baby and night after night of no sleep. And there you are in the ruined temple with no way forward that looks like it's going to be right. And still, you manage to find that little bit of oil, that spark of hope, of possibility, of faith, of love, some little sacred vessel that keeps you going, that keeps you restoring stone by stone the temple that seems ruined, that helps you to mop up what will in fact never be the same as it was. Maybe you stand in the middle of the ruined temple looking at the oncoming onslaught of climate change and politicians who dither and delay 
and it seems like everything is cracking. Maybe you look at the succession of unarmed black men who are killed by the police officers who were supposed to keep us safe, and you feel a little bit more of that foundation crumble. But then you do what it is that we do. There's a saying that God never gives you more than you can handle, and I don't really care for that, because really, a kind of a God who was going to do that Job thing of keeping on with the piling up of things that you shouldn't have to handle? I don't care for that kind of a God, thank you very much. But the reality is, those things happen, those things pile up. And we, human miracles, keep going. We handle it because that's just what we do. That is our personal miracle of the oil that we keep burning. That's what we mean when we say at the end of our services, I carry the flame. We are flame carriers. We are the ones who hold on to the light. And sometimes we even manage to hold on to the light enough to serve as the shamus candle, the servant candle that you use to light all of the other candles for the Hanukkah service. Sometimes the reason that the light lasts is because we hand it on, because we make that light of hope keep burning in someone else. And so across generation and generation, through ruined temple and ruined temple, the light keeps burning all across our beautiful, broken, unending lives.